Hi everyone and welcome back to the Woodland Reboot. If you are new to the channel, I am Peter here at the Reboot. Today it's part three in the three-part series in how I repaired the fenders to my 13-year-old pickup truck. So today I'm going to be doing the painting, taping off the area and then moving ahead with all the painting of the two fenders and the back gate. So the idea with these rolled up sheets here is that it gives the paint area a soft edge and not a hard edge if you tape it off with a straight line. I've never done it this way. Heck, the last time I did any kind of work like this was 30 years ago. So uh, again, not an expert guys. What I've read and what I've seen on YouTube University, this uh, offers a good option. Okay, everybody, first coat of primer on this fender here. It's gonna be interesting. The key here is not to apply it too thick to avoid runs. And again, I'm gonna do two to three coats, so there's no major need to feel like I have to get it all in one go here. I didn't like that. I'm getting too much spray back. I gotta go get my mask on. I did the tailgate while I was doing the fenders as well. Okay everyone, I'm getting ready to start with the actual paint. This is the correct paint for this truck. Hopefully I've done this correctly. Three coats of primer. Shaking the can vigorously.
this point in the process I'm pretty pleased in terms of how the color is matching and how it's starting to look. I moved the pickup inside for the second and third coats just to make sure that I didn't get any debris on there that uh, I didn't need to have on there obviously. Now what I'm trying to do here following the manufacturer's instructions as well as what I saw on YouTube is to try to keep the can probably about 8 inches from the surface and spraying in little bursts. And as you see me with the primer and with this product I'm constantly shaking the can. Again one of the key instructions that you'll see uh, when you attempt this kind of a project trying to keep that paint mixed so it's coming out in a consistent spray. Between coats I clean the surface with just soap and water and some towels. Finally, the last of the three coats. And now with it dry after three coats, it's time to remove the masking for good. The next step in this process is to get that 1500 grit, which is essentially a sanding, not a sanding, a polishing sandpaper, and put that to use. And uh, I think we'll see the color even out and shine up. And you, we'll get rid of these uh, discolorations over here, I think. Anyways, I don't think I'm gonna do much more than that. It's a $3,000 truck. We don't have rust chips falling out over here. It looks pretty good, it's not great, it looks good enough. So just a little few more hours work on it and I think it'll be done. Hi everybody, we're now at the end of the fixing up the tr truck project. I have completed the polishing. I didn't put a lot of time and effort into the polishing, but again, it is a $3,000 truck. Um, this fender is rebuilt, but this is looking better and will probably or hopefully look this way for at least I'm going to say a couple years, but I think the big thing that you can see here with the end of this project is that I haven't quite blended in the paint uh, area from the new paint to the old paint. The paint color matches, but I haven't quite blended it in. Overall, I'm happy with the job. Again, it's uh, fixing up uh, an old truck, making it look a little bit nicer and feeling a little bit better about the truck as you drive down the road. Thanks for watching everybody. Enjoy your time and look forward to having you back here at the Reboot uh, for the next video.